So I'm in Derbyshire, England, and uh, I knew as soon as I decided I was going to England that I had to do the filming locations for The Princess Bride. I am 90% sure that that stone structure right there is uh, Buttercup's farm, her house. Let me see here. Now, I recognize through screenshots on the movie, you can see a window up on top here. And I believe a little, the little window down to the right. If there was a doorway on the left-hand side here, then this is her house. And there, <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> this is it. Buttercup's farm. Wow. This is amazing. So it's right in this area where Wesley is chopping wood and using the wheelbarrow and doing all of his chores right in this spot. As you wish. <laughs> Man, it is complete. There's no, there's no roof. And I think that um, probably, yeah, so this has been kind of walled up with a stone or whatever, but this was the doorway into her house. Uh, you can actually, can we get in here? Oh, geez. Where's my pudding? <laughs> got, got that on video, huh? All right. So this is, so this is Buttercup's house. Wow. So this is it. This is where he was inside when she's like, oh, fun boy. Fun boy. Fetch me that picture. So there you go. I don't know why the production and Rob Reiner chose this. Probably because the view, the view is beautiful. But I do know that the production company came in and outfitted it with, you know, a roof and it made it, they made it look like somebody was actually living there. But I think it was, uh, abandoned for for quite a while this is definitely it so obviously these trees have grown in considerably and you can't see the view anymore the fence is long gone now or possibly they had done that just for the movie but can kind of still see the view right from up here. This is uh, the view that they had. That was it. So stay tuned for as, as much as I can do the filming locations to The Princess Bride. There is nothing nearby, not for miles. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. Ah! So this beautiful area is called Robin Hood Stride. So after Buttercup's uh, farm, Wesley climbs the Cliffs of Insanity, which are actually the Cliffs of Moor. And uh, that's in Ireland, and I'm not going to go there just for that quick scene. Plus, a lot of that was filmed on a set, on a stage. And then also, that whole fight, that duel scene on top of the Cliffs of Insanity with uh, Inigo Montoya was also on a set, on, on a soundstage. So the, the next real location is right here. This is Robin Hood Stride. And it's just this beautiful area with these huge rocks. Pick up one of those rocks, get behind the boulder. In a few minutes, the man in black will come running around the bend. The minute his head is in view, hit it with the rock! I was not a sportsman like you.
I did that on purpose. I don't have to miss. I believe you. So what happens now? No tricks, no weapons. Skill again, skill wrong. You mean you put down your rock and I put down my sword and we try to kill each other like civilized people? I can kill you now. Frankly, I think the odds are slightly in your favor at hand fighting. And there you go. This is the view that Carrie had when he ran around this rock and ran up there towards Andrea the Giant, who was waiting for him just on the right. All throughout the shot, you can see this, that curved, the curved rock. It's a strange rock, and then this tree outcropping comes out. I guess these trees grow very slowly. <laughs> Mask. Were you born with acid or something like that? Oh no, it's just they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. I've been specializing in groups, battling gangs for local charities, that kind of thing. Ooh. Why should that make such a difference? Well, you see, you use different moves when you're fighting. After does it, people. <clears throat> Then we only have to be one. one. I do not envy you the headache you will have when you awake. But in the meantime, rest well. Dream of large women. On to the next scene. down to you and it is down to me so Wesley comes right down this hill and their table is pretty much right here right on this little there's a little hill here then pull the wine you can see in the background that hill it comes it like steps down and then the smooth hill on the right and then directly behind them are those rocks up on top. All right. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. This was very, very difficult to find at least three hours of searching all along this uh, beautiful area here, this hiking area. <laughs> Look at this beautiful location here. This is Cave Dale. I believe the name of the town is Castleton and it actually even has the ruins of a castle up there just to the to the left but in case you didn't guess already this is where Wesley and Buttercup slide down the hill this is the famous as you wish this is where Wesley kind of throws Buttercup down for her to rest and there's a tree here there's some fake rocks there's a, a branch a tree branch here a dead tree branch um, and he's like, I remember your farm boy. He simply said, please, please, right there. Please, I need to live. And basically in the same spot is where they see Humperdinck and his goons riding their horses up over this, across this ridge, and you can actually still see the tree. The tree honestly doesn't look much different than it did 30 years ago. You can die too for all I can. And this is where a little movie magic comes into play. She pushes him basically right here. And um, if you rewatch that scene again, you'll see that it's, it's not a continuous angle at all. There's a lot of cuts. And the reason why is because 
there's no smooth way to get all the way down to the bottom of the valley. In fact, you can see that's the trail that I hiked up here. It's basically like a drop off after that. So they kept filming the same area right in here. They cut it to a different position where they ended up at the very bottom of the valley. The camera angle was probably something like this, coming, you know, following them down. And then they stop pretty much, that's the trail. They stopped right, right there, probably had some sort of barrier because it just drops off after that. And then they continued down a, a different location. They probably spent a day or two, maybe longer, preparing this area, cleaning all the sheep poop, because there's a ton of it. It's all over the place. So I'm sure that, you know, they didn't want to roll around in that stuff. So everything had to be prepared for it. But this is where it happened. So this, of course, is where they end up at the bottom of the hill. And, uh, we have flipped the scene here. This is the other side of the valley. Now for the most part, what I've seen so far was that everything was pretty accurate. It was true to how it is in real life. Um, except for kind of here. We're still in the Cave Dale area, this, this whole valley. But uh, where they roll down the hill where I was before was about maybe 300 feet around this bend. And um, now we're on the other side here of the valley, laying here, and that forest up there, that little bit of woods, is the one that you could see behind Wesley when they were up on the hill. We'll never survive. Nonsense. You're only saying that because no one ever has. Your princess is really quite a winning creature. A trifle simple, perhaps, but repeal is undeniable. Oh, no, the people are quite taken with her. When I hired Vizzini to have her murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. <laughs> now, where is that secret knot? It's impossible to find. Ah. Are you coming down into the pit? The trees here are very fitting for fairy tale like movies because they really do, in some ways, resemble goblins. <laughs> I can never remember what knot it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, this is not the actual tree that led down to the uh, pit of despair. But this is the area, the tree itself was fake and uh, they basically filmed right in this area. They only really filmed certain things here. The actual fire swamp was on a set to be able to control all that stuff, like those rodents and sand pits. This is Burnham Beaches. Uh, it's a pretty popular area for filming and making movies. It's only an hour outside of London. So this was, uh, they opted for this woods very common. It will not be moved. Hold that. So the vicini. In fact, Burnham Beaches is used as the backdrop for a lot of scenes in this movie. Uh, when Inigo is drunk and the Brute Squad is trying to kick everybody out, that whole scene, that village. And by the way, I wanted to mention a big thanks to Martin, who works here at Burnham Beaches, for pointing out some of these areas. It would be nearly impossible to find exact locations, especially after 35 years, so thank you very much to him. Beat it, or I'll call the Brute Squad. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. And I also wanted to mention that due to time constraints, I couldn't get to all of these locations. In the case of Humberdinck's Castle, there was a movie being filmed, so the whole place was closed. So I didn't even bother going there. Boo! Boo! There's another location, Penthurst Place, which is a privately owned, I don't know if it's a castle, but it certainly looks very castle-like, but that's where the bedrooms are and the hallway scenes, the bedrooms where Wesley is laying, but it's privately owned. You can tour some of it, 
but you really can't see the bedrooms, you can't see the hallways, so I just didn't even bother. Again, due to time constraints, I wanted to spend as much time at these places as possible and really show you what it looked like around the area as well. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepare to die. So that's it for the Princess Bride filming locations. Uh, I tried to find as many as I could, uh, at least the, the more major scenes, the little ones I, I just, I didn't have time to do. But I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to get out of the woods now, and uh, really the only thing I need to worry about is running into the, any R.O.U.S.'s. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. Ah! <laughs>